Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. We are going to draw from the quote jar today. We have got Greek Stoic wisdom people to choose from. So I'll tell you who we have in the jar. We have quotes by Aristotle, Plato, Epicurus. I'm not even going to attempt that. <laughs> we've got Marcus Aurelius and we've got Socrates. And if you have watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, you know that that can also be pronounced Socrates. Just kidding. Um, I'm showing my age there. Yes, I did watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and I really enjoyed it. Okay, so you can choose from between group one, two or three. I will say that I have seen the cards very briefly beforehand. I've studied them briefly, but we are going to have quotes live and I might even shuffle um, some cards live for you today as well. What I will say is that the energy across the board is, since the last time I did this, the energy is not great. I will say that. Um, so if any of you have been going through some tough stuff, I completely understand. Let's try and work through the feelings or, or through whatever it is that you've been going through. We'll work through it in these spreads. Let's see what wisdom comes through. As with any of my readings, please note that not every message is going to be for you. Just take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. So that's another overall note that I want to give. All right, well, let's go. I'll see you in your reading. Choose from between groups one, two or three. See you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at the cards that you have pulled through. So to begin, we've got transformation. We have got attachment. In the tarot, we've got the Empress in reverse. We've got the Six of Cups in reverse. And as with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Not every message will necessarily be for you. Let's see, just straighten those up. <clears throat> ah, yes, and you've got the Five of Pentacles. Look at that. Got these beautiful gold foil cards. They're really lovely. Yeah, okay. So now this is one of the groups that I think you've been going through some tough stuff and there's a very particular message in this group, very particular. So if this is not you, don't watch it. <laughs> okay, and the very particular message is something has happened recently where you feel left out in the cold or you've been shut out of something or you've been shut out from someone's life there's an attachment here and there's an attachment when I'm looking at these three cards I'm seeing that there's someone from the past <clears throat> so we've got six of cups and that's in reverse so this is nostalgia and when I see this card this can be oh, hang on here we go this can be indicating someone that you had really great memories with, someone that you loved or treasured or really cared about from the past. Okay, that's, that's the way I'm reading this card here. You're definitely attached to this person and are probably still attached to this person. This is somebody that you, and I'm reading this as a person, it could also be a job or a situation or a lifestyle or something that you can't do anymore. There is some rejection here. We've got this card, which is the Empress. Now, the Empress, she turns up when you're feeling particularly creative. When she's upright, look at that. She's about to birth a new world, okay? And this is a card of pregnancy, of love, of being in love, of the height of feminine energy. It's a really gorgeous card. When it's in the reverse position, 
and particularly for me I'm reading it with these two cards here I'm seeing this as rejection basically because this card is a card of being left out in the cold so this is upright so this is definitely something that's happened this is upright this is saying that you are feeling left out in the cold and I'm reading this as you've been shut out okay because these hands are here and these doors are closed and in this in the depiction of this card series this is the golden thread tarot I think and in this one very often you see a window you see a golden window and you see two people struggling outside in the snow but here we've got doors and the doors are closed and what I'm seeing is that you've been shut out okay so I see this as rejection I do and if this is say for example a person that you wanted to be with and you feel like they're rejecting you or they're shutting you out or they don't want you anymore here's what's going on with that we've got the transformation card here and beautiful Durga Ma is there and there's a lot of transformation happening in the world of this person okay so when I first looked at these I did think that this could be for you to be compassionate with this person who's shutting you out and the reason being is that they could well be in a world of pain equally that that may not necessarily be the case uh, they could be relieved you know and, and boy do I know this situation or what I totally know this situation I know this feeling of being shut out of being rejected of being fired I was fired from a job one time all kinds of things I've experienced this energy when I saw this I was just like oh I know this um, yeah and I mean but one of the things that came into my mind as I was going through this spread was that concept of rejection is protection so you might actually be being protected from something okay so your divine guides and angels and guardians and, and, and those on the other side that are looking after you might be shutting you out for a reason okay and I think what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle and see if we can find that reason why don't we do that I didn't know we were going to do that but let's do that so let's shuffle and see is there rejection is protection is there a greater divine reason as to why you are being uh, rejected or shut out what is the greater purpose or reason well oh, there we go all right the ace of swords has come out so I'm actually gonna put that I'm gonna move these hang on here we go and move these over here because I'm really asking about this transformation well I'm not really asking about the transformation I'm asking about are you being protected it kind of is connected to this transformation let's just draw one more card Ace of Swords. wow queen of swords in reverse rejection is protection let's have a look at this rejection is protection your mind is being saved really your mind is being protected massively because yeah it's a good thing if you've been shut out from something if you've been rejected from something this is actually a good thing and it's saving you from having to to, to do something and you shouldn't have to you're not here to sort everything and everyone out you know it's like that's not your job we're gonna draw some guidance from these ancient Greeks as well let's see what comes oh I'm excited to do this I wrote heaps of these I wrote I don't know I, I didn't even count how many I wrote so I'm just gonna pick this one out okay we, might, we can draw a couple if we want to let's see what comes let's see what guidance comes here oh this is good okay let's 
put that in focus. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have, Epictetus. And I think you're being asked to take a step back. Look, we've got this attachment card here. Doesn't that work perfectly with this quote? The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. You're really being asked to let go of control. And what kind of control in particular? I would say it's to do with, with the mind. It, it's so interesting. We don't have any pentacles energy here. We've got the cups, so this is emotional. And that's why I do think it could be someone from the past, someone that you care about, so, you know, there were feelings there, that kind of thing. And you wanted to co-create, you wanted to be creative in that job. Maybe it's a job that you got rejected from as well. Uh, I've, yeah, definitely been in that situation. And, you know, your intentions have been beautiful and good and all you wanted to do is, is to be creative and, and do all this beautiful stuff here, but you're being shut out. And the rejection that's happening is actually to save your mind, okay, which is fantastic. We just had a, I think that was a cockatoo, I don't know if you heard it. So we've got some confirmation from nature there as well. <laughs> but this is fantastic. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. You're really being asked to let go of control and to allow the transformation to take place. Whatever this transformation is, you're not particularly to be part of it, if you know what I'm saying. You're meant to be on the outside and that's gonna save your mind. That is absolutely gonna, that you'll have peace of mind, okay? And allow the transformation to occur this is a nice reading in that you don't have anything to do in particular. If anything, the thing that you have to do is you have to let go of attachment. An attachment to all the beautiful um, goals and wishes and, and dreams, and what you had in the past. You have to just let that go. And, and you had a lot of dreams, possibly some castles in the sky, that kind of energy. Why don't we just draw another one, see what comes. Why not? I'm feeling generous. How about it? And, I, and then I'm going to wrap up because I've got to get on to the next one. I don't want these to be too long. I notice that when they're shorter, they go better. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful as well. God, they're all beautiful. To always be fortunate and to pass through life with a soul that has never known sorrow is to be ignorant of one half of nature. Seneca, yeah. So look, I mean, if you're, if you're going to go through some negative emotions um, due to this shutting out situation or whatever it is that's going on, or the transformation that's occurring that you're not privy to, yes, you might feel left out, yes, you might feel rejected, yes, you might feel a bit cold, but there's beauty in that. Um, if your life was always always perfect, your soul wouldn't grow. And that's why the Stoics are brilliant. I always turn to the Stoics, Stoic quotes and all that kind of thing because they get me back to neutral and they get me back to, uh, and that was another thing that I thought when I was looking briefly at the cards that came through for you, which was, if you can just keep getting back to neutral, you're gonna be absolutely fine in any situation, okay? So group one, that is what I have for you this week. I hope this has been a nice reading and let me know in the comments below how you get on. I absolutely love reading your comments. Thank you so much because they fuel me and keep me going. So thank you for that. I may not reply straight away, but that's because I'm busy doing other things, but thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards, the cards that came through for you. Okay, we've got communication. I love the colors in this card set. It's so beautiful. Just wonderful. Okay. 
<clears throat> you've also got the sixth chakra archangel metatron again that's very beautiful we've got his sixth chakra right there in focus now for tarot you have got the hierophant upright You've got the Eight of Swords, upright. Ooh, and I don't know if you heard that, that was a very noisy cockatoo. So you have a cockatoo sound, <laughs> I don't know how I'll incorporate that in. Um, you've also got the Nine of Swords, upright. Okay. I love the gold foiling on these cards. I think it's called the Golden Thread Tarot. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Now this is another group that's going through some tough stuff at the moment. <clears throat> From what I see, it looks like, one of the things that I got when I was studying these cards earlier, because I always look at them just briefly earlier, I might do a bit of live shuffling in today's uh, reading, but really these two, was standing out to me as your current situation. So that is the Eight of Swords upright, which then turns into the Nine of Swords. So this is some tough stuff because, yeah, it, it's, it's an escalation. And what I'm seeing here is I'm actually seeing anger. Um, the first time I looked at this, I was like, oh yeah, there's some anger here. And the other thing is, sometimes this is a card of um, being a victim and the thing about this lady who's standing here is that if she just moves a little bit you know she just does a little dance move or something she doesn't have to do too much but these are all loosely bound like this will all just fall away so what she's going through is an illusion okay it's not mm, it's not as bad as what she thinks it is. And I know that can be a hard thing to say to people that, well, what you're going through is not so bad. No, it is bad, okay? And I understand that. I know how hard and how, how bad um, things can be. One of the things that came up when I was thinking about this reading was to say that if you would like you can try the Louise Hay anger meditation I've done that a lot in the past and I know last week I had some anger come up for me I feel like this is my group this week um, I yeah I had someone that I was just absolutely furious with and <laughs> because I've done so much spiritual work and, and training and I know all the tools and I knew to just go away to my own private quiet space and just really feel the emotions and be with them and you can use your sixth chakra to, wow, look at that. The, these birds are really noisy in this reading. That is fascinating, guys. Okay, so there's some big energy here, yeah. Um, and I, I kind of went through this just like a few days ago myself. And what Louise Hay teaches you to do in this meditation is she teaches you to just visualize being with that person that you're really upset with or that you're really angry with. And she gets you to just visualize you speaking out everything you want to say to them and just visualize whatever it is that you want. And that way you feel the emotions and they go through, they will leave. And it, they'll leave after about, I mean, 20 minutes to half an hour max. Have you ever tried crying for more than 15 minutes? It's actually quite difficult. By the time you hit the 20 minute mark, half an hour mark, you kind of, you can't keep going, <laughs> you know, like you just can't. And that is really, I've read various teachers and authors talk about this, about how long does an emotion sit with you. Now, if you're afraid of the emotion, it will stay in you and it can stay in you for a very long time and it can cause a physical illness. So that's resistance. That's you're afraid of the emotion. So if you're afraid of the emotion, and that's why the sixth chakra and being up here, visualizing in the mind, again, we've got this beautiful color here. 
which is now this card, I'm not seeing this as a card that you have to communicate to the people or whatever it is that's going on here. No, this is internal communication. You need to communicate with yourself. You need to be in your own mind space and do some spiritual work and visualize, okay, I'm going to tell this person absolutely everything. And I'm just going to share my heart. I'm going to say what it is I have to say. You will find that the very negative energy will dissolve. It will dissolve and you'll pass through. And then when you next see that person, you probably won't have the need to, to speak to them. You, you, this, this will all go as well. Okay, so we're going to check this out with, um, so we're going to get some uh, more wisdom and I'm going to draw a couple more cards to find out a little bit more about this. But now you see those birds are quiet. Isn't that interesting? The birds have gone away. Wow. So, because I was starting to get annoyed at the birds. <laughs> I'm like, be quiet birds. I'm trying to talk. Um, yeah, you've, you've got spiritual work to do in the privacy of your own mind. And that's something I say to my clients as well, that that is where you will do the best work. You, your best spiritual work, you do it alone in the privacy of your own mind. And it usually involves feeling all those yucky, horrible feelings that we don't want to feel. Visualize, you know, say your piece and, and just visualize, you'll, you'll feel lighter, you'll feel better. If you have to cry, if you have to cry it out, if you have to do that and try it, you'll see you, you can't, um, go for, for far too long, if you know what I mean. And bouts of it may keep coming up. That is true. But what also happens, and this is Dr. David Hawkins teaching, he says that um, like anger and all the negative emotions, there's a limit on how much we have. You don't, it's not a bottomless pit. That's one of our fears. Okay, that's, that's a fear that we have. We have a fear that the bad negative emotion that we have within us it's a bottomless pit and it'll be like never ending you know swords above our heads no no it's, it's not like that sometimes these swords in other cards are depicted sideways and i read one brilliant interpretation of the nine of swords which was that it's circling thoughts in the night time so i don't know if anyone's going through any of that but know that it might be, and it might be that you're frightened of your own anger or you're frightened of your own rage or you're frightened of your own negative emotions. And you don't have to be. Sit with them, be with them, visualize. Don't act on anything. You see, that's the brilliant thing about the sixth chakra. We can just visualize. When we're up in these higher chakras, we can just visualize, we can be energetic. You don't have to act on anything at all. Okay, I've got confirmation from a bird. I hope all of that comes up on the recording, because otherwise you'll be like, what are these bird sounds she's talking about? They're not in my mind, I promise. Um, the Hierophant. This showed me that you need to get back to your roots somehow, or you need to... We'll, we'll get some clarifiers on this. How about we get some clarifiers on this? So, but I was getting a vibe that you need to connect back in with tradition or your roots or something from your past uh, is going to be important. And maybe that's also so communication, maybe, but, I, but don't, what I will say is with anger and the negative emotions, don't um, be expressing that. And this is another thing I always say that don't, don't express it horizontally, go upwards, give it to God, ask God to take it away from you, visualize it, let the energy pass through. You'll find that once you've done that, you don't feel the need to talk directly to that person kind of thing that horizontal energy is it's not good you don't want to be talking to someone kind of thing um let's have a little clarifier on this the hierophant exactly what that means and we'll also get some quotes from the stoics because they are brilliant at getting our minds back to neutral so let's take a look oh hello that wanted to come out straight away look at that healing upright oh fantastic Good, 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 good. Maybe, look, I mean, the healing process is now. It's happening now. You're releasing it now. Honestly, you're doing it. You're doing the work just by, just by taking on board what I'm saying. You know, you're open to it. How amazing is that? Some people are not open to this stuff 
at all. <clears throat> and they they are closed and they are that's not you. You're look at that, you're already working through this. You're already healing something. Let's take this one. Okay, and you're moving away. All right, good, 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 good. Wow, let's check the bottom deck. This is great. Okay, I'm actually going to cover these up with this because you're doing it. You're all over it. This is great. Oh, I'm excited for you. How about we, look, we're at the 11 minute mark. Why don't I just draw a couple of these and let's see what comes. Let's see what guidance comes from the Stoics. Okay, why don't I just take all of these? Wow, there's a lot. There's three. Why not? Let's be extravagant. Let's be indulgent. You've been going through a tough time, so, you know. Wow, look at that. The first one. No person is free who is not master of himself. Yeah. And that fits beautifully with the inner work that you're meant to do. You can look up Louise Hay anger meditation or releasing anger. If you just put that in the YouTube search bar, you'll come up to a, a meditation that's fantastic. But I mean, honestly, it's just, just a matter of being in that mind of yours, visualizing, communicating with your own self, giving it to God if it's too much. Give it to God, ask God to take over, letting it go. These are all the kind of things that are going to be great <clears throat> for you at this time. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, this is fantastic. Love this quote. Smart people, wait, come on, focus. Come on, here we go. Smart people learn from everything and everyone. Average people from their experiences. Stupid people already have all the answers. Socrates, I just love that. Yeah, and see, smart people can just, you don't need to talk or deal with the situation or the person or whatever it is in the outside world. You want to deal with yourself. You want to communicate within yourself. You want to communicate with God. You want to communicate with the archangels or gods or whoever it is that you believe in. Okay, and the outside world, it'll calm down because you'll calm down within because the emotion will pass through. It really, spiritual work really does work. Uh, I can tell you that for sure. And now let's have a look. The third one, three of them popped out. So why don't we? Oh, wow. Okay. Disgraceful for the soul to give up when the body is still going strong. Marcus Aurelius. Look at that. Well, I don't see you giving up. Uh, not at all. And in fact, what I see is that you're already healing right now, like in real time now. It's pretty amazing. I mean, to get that upright, of all the cards I could, of 78 cards, you got this just now, upright. I mean, that's just incredible. And this, upright. You're moving, you're lifting and shifting right now in real time. Well, I'm super proud of you. So I hope you, I hope you allow the healing to continue um, but yeah, fantastic reading guys. Wow. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with this one. I always love reading your comments and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, welcome to your reading. All right, let's take a look at your cards. What did you get this time? All right. So we've got service. If it's going to focus, yes, there we go. And I do believe this would be Ram, Lord Rama, with his bow there. I should have checked that actually before I, before I started recording, but well, I just haven't had any time today at all. So that's okay. All, uh, by the way, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Not every reading is for you. Not every message is for you. So remember, this is a general reading. All right. You've got the thinking woman here. I love this card. Wow. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. I love what she's wearing. Is that green? I love green. I love the high neck there. It's really pretty. Okay. Right. Um, tarot. We've got Knight of Wands upright. Mm, 
I've got the chariot upright. Now, if I remember correctly, was it last week, last time I did this, the chariot, we got this exact same card for group three. Amazing. I think it's come again. Okay, the three of pentacles in reverse. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what have we got going on here? Well, of the three groups, group three, you are you're doing well okay you're like in the strongest position the other two groups have i think they've been having a bit of a tough time and i know for me i did resonate this time with the the middle group this time but for you you seem to be doing great and if you had tuned into group three last time i actually do remember this because i think we got action and i think you had this card as well and i was saying that you need to get on with it and I feel like you are getting on with it. I feel like you're doing fantastic. If you had picked the same group last time and you're picking three again, fantastic. You're doing great. This is a message that, that you're on it work-wise and you're an amazing asset to the collective consciousness because whether you're a man or a woman doesn't matter because if you're a man, like this is the feminine, your feminine side, you know, we've all got yin and yang energies, we've all got Mars and Venus energies, like this, we all have everything, right? So this is showing me though that mm, the vibe I got from this, and especially this, together with this, is that you are an amazing, amazing asset to the collective consciousness, in that you are researching, learning, thinking, getting ready, you're caring about humanity, you're thinking about the world, you're thinking about the next generation and the generation after and you know I think you're doing amazing right um, I definitely got that vibe from these two and I think you're on it I think you are acting I think you are going for it the only thing I thought about this one being in reverse was that um, mm, is this linking into expectations that just came into my head now yeah so if you feel like yes you're doing all this work but you're not going anywhere it could be a thing of expectations it might also be when I looked at this earlier I thought that this was to do with you're working a little bit too hard maybe that's a possibility we'll clarify this and what we'll do is we're going to draw some, why don't we draw some Stoic Wisdom first. Uh, we'll just draw one and then I'll draw a card or two and see what happens. So let's see what comes. I love doing this, it's so much fun. Okay. Ooh, love this. Yes, this is you. This is amazing. All right, so where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. And I do feel like you're on it. You really are. But it's, it's like, I feel like you're expecting to be perfect now. Or you're expecting to be this master craftsman, like, immediately. But it's like, it'll take a couple of decades to get to that high ideal that you have that's kind of one of the vibes that I've got so I feel like I feel like that's the only reason why this is in reverse it's this is in reverse just to say to you that yes you will attain the excellence you will get there you will get to the top you will get to where you it is that you're wanting to go you're gonna do it it's just gonna take time I think this is a card about time I do. Let's, we're going to draw some cards on that. Okay, oh my God. Well, this is so exciting. Where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. So I feel like you're either on it vocation-wise or, or doing your work in the world or your service in the world. You're doing great. I think you're being given a pat on the back, definitely, to say that you're doing fantastic in the life that you have. You couldn't be doing any better than you are doing right now. You're doing amazing. If you feel like, but I'm still not in my dream profession, this is very much confirmation that you will get there because you're thinking about it, you're holding it dear to your heart, you're making your moves to that. You're 
approach you're you're get you're, you're doing everything just right i mean I, i'm definitely strongly getting that feel um this is beautiful this is a really great reading let's draw some cards and just see like we'll draw some more of these uh, and see what comes because there is some really really lovely energy here I know some people they're not so keen on people shuffling live but I'm having a go these days it's quite fun um, let's see I'll just take that one see what comes whoa okay ten of swords in reverse mmm all right let's have a look I wasn't expecting that uh, I want to clarify on that that's a good thing by the way guys that's a very good thing you want that in reverse believe me those swords are all going to fall out this is a good thing so I'm happy about that so I think you've got some new layer of oh fantastic my goodness you got sun last time if you're here from group three last time was the sun in your reading last time no, but it was, I think, some weeks ago for group three. This is just beautiful. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing a new layer unfolding for you when it comes to your work. Talk about talent. Talk about, you know, talents and the needs of the world cross there lies your vocation I mean this is this is beautiful this is talent this is a card of talent let's take some more of these but this is this is like you have uncovered or you will uncover like a, there's like a layer of healing to do with uh, career and you'll feel it you'll feel a shift there's some shift coming in for you where you'll just feel freer and you'll feel more confident to do your work this is yeah okay i know why these two came up for this it's because this layer is going to shift something is going to clear and heal and shift and change because you do need to be rewarded you are doing a lot of great work and when this shift happens, you will just find it easier to do your work. You won't have to prepare as much. You won't have to work as hard. You won't have to, like previously, and previously you might have thought, oh, I need to do all these notes, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. No, you know, you just need to do it. You just, and you'll feel freer. You'll feel freer and easier, and it'll just be like, there'll be flow, and there'll be, there's gonna, there's some shift that's either come in for you already, or that is coming in okay it's it's very very nice and it's a layer it's a thin layer it's not a thick layer it's just a thin layer and more ease uh, as you are making your way to your dream profession or you are doing your dream profession okay but uh, you can make the stepping stone job that you're in right now if you're in one of those you can make that feel fantastic a layer will shift and, and, and you know because when you accept wherever you are then it can release and you will be given the next thing okay so that is another important thing let's take another quote oh I'm having such a good time with this <laughs> I love doing these quote things okay I think this one is folded twice this is going to be a big one let's see who it is and what they have to say oh fantastic yes it is folly for a man to pray to the gods for that which he has the power to obtain by himself yeah epicurus you can do it you can do it you are look at that i mean that is lord rama right like you, you you're you're on it you're serving you are you're doing amazing um you're incredibly thoughtful you're not sitting around you're acting you're moving you're doing really really good and it's just a thing of timing maybe there are some great expectations there just a little bit but not nothing major nothing that's holding you back <coughs> is what I'm seeing nothing's holding you back in particular and I feel like you get this 
this quote, you, you're on it, you're all over it. It is folly for man to pray to the gods for that which you know this, you know, and you want as well to have your hands in the clay and be making the life and to be cre using that creative power that you have. Look at that, the sun. You want to be using your creative power and you are using it. So if, and if you're not feeling like you are, and if you're kind of like, I don't feel that, you probably are, but you're not acknowledging it somehow. And acknowledge it, acknowledge it more. Acknowledge even when we, see Louise Hay has this brilliant thing where she says, um, she's, she, she feels creative when she makes her bed really well. Like, and I mean, me too, like, it's like, that's your creation. First thing in the morning, boom, like, you know, you've made something, you've used some talent to make your bed in a beautiful way. So you are being creative. You just, you might, you just might not be acknowledging it to your own self or recognizing the great power that you have. Okay. But this is a really, really, really good reading, guys. I love this one. I think this is fantastic. I think you're doing great. And yeah, stay, keep doing what you're doing. This is the message I'm getting. Look, there's a bird that's just confirmed it. <laughs> we had a lot of birds chirping in the uh, previous reading. All right, well, group number three, I think we're on group number three. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading, if it resonated. Know that if it didn't, you know, this could be coming up, right? So this is something to keep bear in mind. But um, yeah, let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love reading your comments and um, I'll of course try and get back to you as and when I can. <clears throat> But thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you next time.